What about in terms of partnerships, warranties, contracts, those types of things? In terms of um, problems that Having could? problems that crop up. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think that in terms of contracts, again, there's there's quite a, a difference in ways to approach them. If it's an informal contract versus a formal contract, when would you need one versus the other? Um, and an attorney can really help you uh, kind of explore your different options. And I would I would say as a default, it's generally best to have a written contract. That way, as in anything else with your business, you've thought about it. You have at least given some consideration to how you think you're going to want certain situations to be handled. And it's always a good idea to have something in writing. Can, can a business owner, for example, write his or her own contract? And then once written, what should they do with it? Legally, yes, <laughs> you can uh, write your own contract. Um, I mean, it's, it can be enforceable. Uh, it could also be unenforceable, depending on um, what's actually put into it. Um, written contracts, by and large, have to meet a minimum number of um, criteria that are fairly easy to meet. Um, but you want to have planned, you know, what is it that you're agreeing to? What is it you're agreeing to be responsible for? What do you expect to get out of it? What happens if you don't? Mm -hmm. And also what happens if you don't want to be bound by the contract anymore, things like that. And it's best to ask an attorney so that uh, you don't have to run this, this maze that the attorney has been, has learned about and is used to handling, right? The thing that an attorney is going to bring, among other things, is the experience of knowing some pretty basic things that uh, are common and that may occur uh, regularly. Mm -hmm.